Well, paving the way for positive change in pediatric cancer. Hannah Adams, our WVTM 13 Project Community Champion tonight, transforming her personal battle to a powerful mission, advocating for awareness and support. I love to look back on this picture. As Hannah Adams holds a picture of her younger self wearing a princess dress, memories flood in. My mom noticed a slight bulge in the side of my stomach, and that night I woke up with a high fever, so we went to my pediatrician the following day who instantly knew that something was wrong. I had some blood work, some scans, and that's when I was told you have cancer. She was diagnosed with stage three nephroblastoma, which meant a softball sized tumor was surrounding her left kidney. She endured chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery to remove the cancerous tumor along with her kidney. We had to go to the hospital, we had to get surgery. My hair was falling out and a part of my childhood was taken away because of cancer. I had to grow up so much faster and for my parents, to go through the thought, what if I lose my child? That's the worst thing that any parent could ever have to face. The entire family, including her sister Haley, impacted by the diagnosis. I wanted to be there for my sister and make sure that she felt normal. Every pediatric cancer fighter just wants to feel normal. 13 year cancer survivor and that experience has really paved the way for my passion and motivation to help other kids who are battling cancer. At the young age of eight, she realized the power of her voice, sharing her story and started raising money at first with small events like lemonade stands. I've been charging a dollar for a lemonade and that's really what started our passion to help others with it. And then from that point on, I became involved in Hyundai Hope on Wheels as their national youth ambassador. And I was able to travel the country and raise over $30 million in pediatric cancer research grants and meet thousands of children who had been diagnosed with cancer. And in 2019, with her sister by her side, we need to do more. Their own nonprofit, Hugs for Childhood Cancer, was born. Hugs standing for helping you get stronger. And we focus on legislative awareness, family support, and community awareness. With it, care packages sent to families around the country, policy generating millions in funding for pediatric cancer research, and a story bringing light to countless children. When a kid hears my story, they, all, they think, if Hannah can do it, I can do it too. If Hannah beat cancer, I can get through this hurdle. Be hopeful. Hope can take you to many different places. And if you continue to have hope, you're going to realize that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, pretty incredible. And with their nonprofit, uh, they also got a grant over $100,000 over a few years uh, from the Alabama Department of Public Health to expand to reach even more people. What a journey. And just what, that she's able to share her story and relate to folks who, who are going through it or have gone through it as well and just make that difference. And that's the best thing, right? Yeah. Reaching, reaching other people, especially children. I uh, want to mention, too, she's also Miss Birmingham representing, cool. representing our city well.